so how to become unstoppable in network marketing let's look at it now if you try to think of which is the world's most powerful computer the world's most powerful computer uh the thing is that that particular computer works beautifully for some people but for most others it works against them unfortunately and sometimes it cripples them also and that most powerful computer is our own brain <clears throat> now if uh, you know uh, all of us are uh, you know very tech savvy and computer savvy so we all understand that computers don't function just by themselves just by themselves they are just a bunch of wires and electronics and things put together but they work because they have been programmed and the results that they produce is based on what kind of programming is there based on that we get the kind of results similarly our own mind has also been programmed right from our childhood we have looked at this in the past also i am just reiterating it once more right from our childhood our computer here has also been programmed and this programming actually rules our life in many ways so uh, we have seen this typo example last week we will just quickly go through it again um so the, this is a very kind of simplistic kind of uh, example where there is you know you're typing out a Uh, in your data processing software in your ms word you are typing out a letter and there is a typographical error and you don't notice it but you send it for printing in the print the typographical error comes out and what we are trying to do is we are trying to uh, uh, correct that error by correcting it on the document and then try to see if again if there is any change that happens that hoping somehow the printer will give a new thing it doesn't matter how many times you do this exercise you will still get the same typographical error i mean the whole example looks quite stupid but the fact is we are doing the same kind of thing that there is an error in the programming or a glitch in the programming without correcting that we are trying to you know with our actions we are trying to you know uh, do something different do something different and obviously results don't come so unless you go back to the source document and correct the mistake on the computer on that document and then print it only then the correct results will come out so in the same way this whole mindset of ours okay we are kind of conditioned probably because of this job mindset because we are so used to people telling us what to do we don't want to think for ourselves we don't want to kind of uh, reprogram ourselves as to how can i cause things to happen we are just uh, tuned to what to do so as we have seen last time we start always with this activity and then with this activity we hope for a result and from this result we are expecting a certain lifestyle to evolve for ourselves but as we saw last time there is something behind the activity there is an attitude behind the attitude there is a thought and behind the thought there is this programming so this programming is what is actually ruling our life most people focus on the activity without addressing the programming and we just keep going on repeating the same mistakes again and again and again and hope that some result new result will come so the activity is just like this printer okay it is not the computer now given that we have this most powerful computer over here we need to reprogram our mind <clears throat> all the sessions that we are having now last few weeks and now are all directed towards this reprogramming of our mind again and again uh, every successful person speaks about having the right kind of mindset and without that mindset success is not possible so therefore the reprogramming is important if you want to achieve the success you deserve you need to reprogram your mind otherwise we will effectively be sabotaging ourselves and we will shortly look at in how many ways we actually keep sabotaging ourselves so uh as we said the first step is to identify now when you are saying reprogramming the mind the first step is to identify what is the kind of inputs we are giving to our mind in our life what are the influences you know 
what are the past experiences that are there who are the people who are influencing our life what is the environment that is uh, impacting our day to day life what are you thinking what are you and i thinking right so this set of things these uh, the inputs that you give coupled with the influences experiences people environment and thinking that decides your current level of success so it is not by accident that we are where we are it is we are the sum total or the average of all these things that are happening which is why you know uh, everything that we are doing now is to make a shift in these areas so the catch is that no matter how hard you work okay i'm again repeating you may be working extremely hard but the change will not come simply because this reprogramming is required uh, i'm sure each of you can look at your own you know things that you have done specifically in the space that we are working in you can just look back and see so much of effort some of you have put in but in spite of that if you are not getting results it is very very important that you look back into how are you thinking how is the programming in your mind because that is in every likelihood that is what is creating the kind of results that you're getting and you're uh, you know you feel stuck right so to go to a higher level of success you have to first improve on the inputs that you give to this brain to this computer the kind of inputs that you give has to improve you recollect we've been speaking so much about giving positive inputs not focusing on what is negative focusing on the positive so what kind of inputs you give here makes a difference then what are the influences we have looked at it uh, last week we will again look at it today the uh, what is the kind of company that you keep is what is de uh, deciding where you are today what is your average salary what is your lifestyle everything is deciding by the company that you keep so your influences if required change the influences then the experiences that we gather <clears throat> we may have gathered a set of experiences we cannot do anything about that but future experiences experiences we can consciously choose a certain kind of experience against as against something else the people now one option is that we work to change the attitude of the people itself who are around us which may be possible may not be possible otherwise change the people themselves okay but at the very least what you should do is the kind of opinions that the people give decide how much of weightage you want to give to those opinions because it is based on those opinions you are taking actions your mind is getting conditioned and programmed so one is if you can change the people around us fantastic that is the attitude of the people which is almost like you know you can say it is next to impossible unless they are willing so therefore bring a change in the people around you choose a different set of people choose change the company that you keep and at the very least change the weightage that you are giving to people's opinions <clears throat> then the environment improve the environment <coughs> so uh, you know uh, some of you are participating in the early morning session of uh, our appliance central uh, what he what he likes to call the new rich environment that environment is like this environment that we are in is actually ruling our life really it's ruling our life in many ways so unless we make conscious changes to change the kind of environment that we are in it is going to continue to sabotage us <clears throat> and thinking our own thinking we need to improve our thinking and also improve the thinking of those around us so these are very very important steps that we have to take i am i know it is easier said than done but these are steps that we have to take so now the catch is that even if suppose you already have a fantastic programming inside that can still get corrupted by a, you know an external virus like right now this whole corona drama is going on it's just that something has come and it's become a pandemic so same way we may have a fantastic you know already we are attitude everything is perfect but it just takes a slight amount of improper environment to corrupt the whole thing it could just be a friend who could just take you off track or some experiences <clears throat> that could you know lead you in a completely inappropriate direction <clears throat> or it could start you to make start making ex excuses right something happened and then after that you say oh you know you start making excuses about why 
you will not do or could not do what you said you would so there can be these kind of in things also which is why we are saying that the environment matters the environment in many ways rules our life so as we said this improper programming that is there can actually sabotage everything that we are trying to do okay what are the kinds of sabotage that we do to ourselves just look at it i want each of you to carefully look at your own life and see specific to our industry wide activity please specifically look at are you in this kind of mode yeah you know we we have a very clear step by step action plan about what to do how to do but are we procrastinating okay <clears throat> the catch is that we keep procrastinating that is we keep delaying uh, you know okay i will do it tomorrow i will do it next week goes on and on and on and then you keep wondering why nothing is changing is it a surprise <clears throat> and at the end of it you keep feeling miserable about it also that nothing is changing then second is we are inconsistent look at the extent to which we are inconsistent you know it's like blow hot blow cold suddenly we are in on fire suddenly lot of action and then push, for a for days or weeks we are suddenly cold doing nothing and then suddenly we'll get into action suddenly become inactive inconsistency these are all things that are sabotaging you please be uh, uh, you know conscious get aware that if today your uh, this network marketing whatever we are into if you are not seeing progress it is because of these things that are regularly happening in your day to day life laziness you know we just feel like oh you know i don't feel like doing it okay now the catch is that we are not built to be lazy by na- by design by nature's design see you look at um, let's say you take a child okay that child it is impossible to keep the child just quiet the child is bursting with energy so uh, by design we are not built to be lazy we are built to live a life very very intensely so laziness is actually a hiding behavior you know if you somewhere feel that oh you know uh, your it's like you going you have to go outside your comfort zone then laziness you can hide behind laziness also <clears throat> what are the other things sometimes you just feel stuck okay you are actually capable and strong but you just feel stuck that nothing is happening nothing is moving for all the effort that you are taking and remember that if you are feeling stuck this is you are not alone it's a very common situation that is faced by many in the network marketing space and unfortunately when you feel stuck you keep feeling miserable about this right and the next thing of course blame how often do we get into this blame mode it's not my fault okay i am not going to do anything until the company changes the compensation plan or company does the right kind of thing give me the right kind of benefit gives me the right kind of support my upline is not helping me unless my upline helps me i am not going to do anything right so blame then this very 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 important thing your comfort zone you are just so comfortable in your comfort zone okay that you just don't want to get out of it right if you the longer you stay in your comfort zone the more nothing will happen in your life unless you are willing to move into that zone of discomfort you cannot expect any change in any area of your life i am not saying only network marketing or industry wise if in your health if you want change you have to move to the zone of discomfort where you are doing exercises one second you are doing exercises in a way that stretches you that is not like very comfortably you are doing it it's like slightly difficult unless you are in that zone you cannot grow okay so now you are in that comfort zone that is one second is you claim that you are okay right now the way things are i am pretty okay with it so why should i do anything you know you may be saying that see i am paying my bills now yeah i am not starving i am surviving quite well now and once you say that you know you justify the so it's effectively you have gone into the whole mode of justifying and rationalizing uh, you may recollect in one of the earlier sessions we spoke about rationalizing as rational lies okay it's very 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 easy for our mind to justify and rationalize anything whatever is convenient for you you will justify and rationalize you have to get aware of this and step out of it 
you know, you may say things like, you know, I need to give myself time. How can I rush these things up? I have never done this kind of thing before. So obviously it will take time. Obviously it will not happen. I am so tired. I need to rest. Okay. It's not my fault. It's all a part of the process. This process is like this. So justifying and rationalizing the whole thing. That why things, it's okay to have things the way they are. All this is centered around your comfort zone. Okay. You claim that this is just, this is the way the journey is. Okay. Justifying, rationalizing. All this is a part of being in the comfort zone. Unless you are willing, I'm again repeating, unless you are willing to step out of the comfort zone and move into the zone of discomfort, you are not going to have a breakthrough in your life. Just look at how good we are at uh, rationalizing and justifying things. <clears throat> how well we say, you know, why we are not doing what we are supposed to do. Just look back. Look at each of, like, I want you to look at your activities that you are doing as far as a part of our industry activity and look at how you justify why you are not doing what you are supposed to do. Just look at it. I want you to look at this. And this is a part of your comfort zone. You don't want to step out of it. <clears throat> the unfortunate fact is here, though, for those people who claim no, that I already things are fine, I'm paying my bill, I'm not starving, I'm surviving well. The fact is that whoever is saying this, they are actually, actually restless. They are unhappy. They are frustrated. But on the face of it, they are making these statements, which is not true. <clears throat> so I want you to appreciate this about the impact that network marketing, that check that you get, or that payout that you get, or that money that you get into your bank account, how important it is, not for you, how much it is a measure of, how much it is impacting other people's lives. Remember that your income from network marketing is a direct reflection of the contribution you are making in the world. The more your income that you get from network marketing, it obviously automatically means that you are making a huge impact somewhere else for other people. There's a large number of people whose lives are being impacted by you because of the products and the services of our company. Higher the income, it means that the number of people who are being impacted is very, very high. <clears throat> Just think of the number of people who are getting empowered and liberated, okay? Your income is a reflection of that. How many people are getting empowered and liberated? How are they getting empowered and liberated? They have a uh, business of their own. They are able to grow and stretch beyond their limitations. You know, they also, like what we are talking about here, they are also in the same state where they are, you know, believe, self-limiting beliefs. They are stuck in various levels. And this gives them an opportunity to go beyond that. And your income is a reflection of that. They are <clears throat> becoming more and more than what they think they are capable of. All these things you are facilitating. So please do not underestimate. Just don't think that, oh, it is only my income. I'm not getting it. The higher the income that you generate, the larger are these impacts <clears throat> that you are going to be making in the world around you. Remember this. All these things impact the lives of so many people. <clears throat> and remember that it has happened because of you. Somewhere you started the process, then you took certain steps, you introduced somebody else, they started the process. And because of that, all these things are happening somewhere. So higher your paycheck, the larger the impact you're having on the world. <clears throat> In other words, if it means if the paycheck is low, it means your contribution to the world is low. <clears throat> now you have to make a choice. Okay, one is that you are making an impact on your own life, income for yourself. But by increasing your own income, you are actually making a huge contribution to the people around you, to the world around you. Do you want your contribution to be low? Please make a choice for yourself. <clears throat> so now we have identified that this programming is the cause. Okay. When the programming is improper, this whole sabotage is happening. Now, how do we change it? So when you look at entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, if you realize, never think of retirement. See, this whole retirement concept is a very, very job-centered concept. Only people who are going for a job think of retirement. As of today, if you take the life of Ratan Tata, 
or you take uh, rahul bajaj you take any of these people any of the people who are ratan tata must be what um, 70s or 80s he must be as of today also he is as active as ever so entrepreneurs never think of retirement so among in as a part of that what are what all they do not do they never run away right <clears throat> they never run away from life and its possibilities they do not run away from others they do not run away from establishing connections in the life around them they never run away from their passion and they never run away from making a contribution and growth to the world around them okay this is how entrepreneurs are <clears throat> and when we are in this mode of sabotage what did we say procrastination being inconsistent laziness stuck comfortable and blaming when we are in this mode of sabotage we are actually running away from life itself we are running away from what entrepreneurs never do <clears throat> so just look at uh, you know all of us are having these fantastic dreams and goals okay and <clears throat> what you already have right now is your programming current programming is based on the inputs influence experience people environment thinking on that right now the unfortunate thing is that while you have these fantastic goals that you have dreams of you want to reach your current programming is actually sabotaging the whole process of your achieving those goals that means everything that is your current the way your mind works is working against you reaching the goals so that means you are actually sabotaging your own goals that's what you are doing and unfortunately without coming back to address the programming you know we don't even realize that it's the programming we are trying to solve the problem here that means we are trying to somehow correct the sabotage okay and reach the goal and we are just stuck round and round on this right side that means between the goal and the sabotage we keep going round and round right you try to achieve the goal it gets sabotage then you again try again you get sabotage without realizing that there is something else that is happening on the background on the face of it what are you seeing you are seeing the sabotage happening procrastination inconsistency laziness you feel stuck and you are in that comfort zone this is what you are seeing but what needs correction is not the sabotage what needs correction is the programming again and again and again i am again reinforcing that unless you are willing to address your programming unless you are willing to address your mindset you cannot expect significantly different changes in your life okay if you want your goals to be fulfilled first focus on changing your programming what needs to be corrected is the programming what is the actual problem is the programming <clears throat> the sabotage is just a symptom remember this <clears throat> so as we said <clears throat> i am again reiterating programming is what needs to be corrected so don't keep going around with this goals and then sabotage and feeling miserable about it that you are not able to achieve it look at what is causing you not to achieve these <clears throat> so in this context uh, because this programming is so sacred so important this programming is majorly connected to the law of association which we saw last week i am repeating it again you become the average of the five people you spend most of your time with okay you walk how they walk you talk like they talk you earn what they earn you'll be surprised you will earn what they earn you the life kind of lifestyle you live will be similar to what they live and then even your uh, you know your hobbies your hab you know music habits all that they will all be kind of similar and you will also kind of all the kind of journeys where they go where they hang out the kind of places they hang out is where you will also hang out you will also dress how they dress so as we said the choice is like this the choice is that you are here you can either choose to be at the bottom of five people who are vastly more successful than you or you can choose to be the best person among five people or uh, the other five people who are way below your capability and your level of success depending on what you choose depending on which direction you take is your life will change so you have to decide which direction you want to go remember the law of association works whether you like it or don't like it the law of association will work so all you can do is to change the kind of association that you have 
and automatically the law will work in that direction. The recommendation is stay at the bottom of the five. The five of the people in your life, you should be the sixth, the, should be the lowermost. The least in income, the least in capability, least in everything. Then what will happen <clears throat> is that that lowest, and you know, you're the lowest in the economic and even influential ladder and your associations will automatically pull you up because the law of association works, right? So we are saying change your association, change your life. So you've seen this uh, last time. We are again reiterating this because it is connected to the programming. We are always focusing on the right side. That is, we are trying to do activity leading to result and leading to lifestyle. So when we look at how success and failure looks in network marketing, we are repeating it, but bear with me because this understanding is very, very critical. As we said, this activity on one side is important, but you have to address this programming. Okay, so see on day-to-day -day basis, you have to do the activity. So you have to find coping mechanisms, how you're going to deal with the activity on day-to-day -day basis. But concurrently, you also have to keep, that's why we are saying, no, attend training sessions, watch videos, read books, which are inspiring you, which will change your mindset. That's very, very, very important. So, uh, you know, in the formula for success and failure in network marketing is very, very simple. Somebody who is successful is just doing a few simple disciplines practiced every day. That is, there are a certain set of steps and he's very disciplined about practicing the steps and he's disciplined about practicing it every day. Consistently, day after day, Whatever time he may decide, he will allocate. If he says that I will give two hours per day, he or she allocates two hours per day or three hours per day. For that time, he will consistently give that time and keep practicing this uh, discipline. <clears throat> and those who fail, they keep repeating a few errors in judgment repeatedly day after day. And one fine day, suddenly everything collapses. So the person who is practicing the discipline, he said that, you know, you have to move into the zone of discomfort he chooses to be to stay in the zone of discomfort okay and the person who is you know on the not doing the right things he's just having fun he is in his comfort zone he or she now the point is that for a very long period of time it will look as if the guy who is so disciplined and the guy who is having fun there is no major difference in the income nothing much seems to be happening <clears throat> now the sad part is that out of 20 people if you take on an average 19 people keep repeating this error in judgment. That is, they just chill out. You know, they keep blaming, justifying. They do all those kind of things. And they are just hanging around at the bottom, continuously making those errors in judgment. And out of 20 people, generally, only one is choosing to be up there. Okay? Practicing repeatedly those few simple disciplines. And very soon, things will change for both of them. <clears throat> now, as we looked at, how do you know that somebody is in that bottom 19 if that somebody is in a blame game continuously blaming continuously justifying com continuously complaining then you know that he's in that bottom 19 uh, meanwhile this guy at the top the lone guy at the top is generally very quiet okay you won't even know that you know there is no noise he's making he's just too busy working and not bothered about what these other people are doing right so as we said <clears throat> This guy, these people who are at the bottom, this 19, having fun and all that, for a long time, it will look as if everything is fine. But after a point, discomfort will start setting in. And the moment discomfort sets in, they will quit. That's what they will do. Okay. Once it starts getting really uh, uncomfortable, they will continue to blame, justify, complain, blame, justify, complain, and continue to repeat the errors in judgment. And finally, they will just quit. That's what happens. On the other hand, the guy who's consistently been disciplined for a sufficiently long period of time, a point of inflection will come. And at that point, this person who persists, you know, it may be very lonely for him. Okay. And for him to sustain himself, he needs to. That is why we are saying, latch yourself on to other people who are successful. He needs other people who are disciplined and look out to them for encouragement. And very soon, he will find that suddenly things start happening to him. Things start moving positive, positive, and it's an exponential growth thereafter. Okay, and that zone of discomfort very soon changes into a comfort zone. And that person is on his or her way to success, right? So remember that if you are looking for this end result, 
of a lifestyle of a fantastic lifestyle of your dreams and goals getting fulfilled please start with addressing the programming <clears throat> your lifestyle is your choice now this same thing we were, last week we looked at it we look at it in another way this is actually like this <clears throat> it is actually like a tree okay where this activity is the trunk of the tree and the results are the branches and the lifestyle the end result your leaves and fruit but what is below this is your attitude your thoughts and your programming are all the root system unless we identify see you know this very clearly when if you are growing a plant unless your root system is fantastic that is what is hidden below the soil unless that is in a fantastic state of health there is fantastic nutrition there all this is there your fruits will not come you know this practically for plants exactly the same thing applies here okay this root system it drives very deep and it gives life whole life it, that is the life giving source it gives stability and it gives longevity to the whole tree <clears throat> so unfortunately if you try to sprout without a root system it will not stand for long it will just get blown over right <clears throat> so to quickly uh, kind of uh, summarize we said that success in network marketing is a few simple disciplines practiced every day consistently consistency is the key okay <clears throat> and remember that success loves speed don't just keep drifting along success loves speed and the person who is unsuccessful in network marketing he's repeating a few errors in judgment again and again and again and one fine day suddenly he'll find that array this is not okay and he will just quit <clears throat> change your programming how do you change your programming through self awareness bring an incredible self awareness of what is causing you to play small to play below your capacity identify what is it that is causing you to play small what is it that is causing you to play below your cap capability i want you to answer this question for yourself i would be more successful in network marketing if what is your answer please think over it uh carefully think over it and write down your answer and look for repeating patterns in your life right uh, the repeating pattern is that you don't know why it is happening but the same thing seems to repeat itself same thing you know the same kind of thing is happening again and again and again these repeating patterns are all a result of the sabotage process which you are not aware of okay identify your limiting beliefs limiting beliefs can be and these are typically all the objections that we have comes inside this limiting beliefs what are the limiting beliefs typically there limiting belief about network marketing limiting belief about other people what we think about them what we think of their capability etc what is our limiting belief about the company itself we may think that oh this company is not good enough it's not big enough you know what is your limiting belief about the products some of you know we have addressed this earlier also some of us have this limiting belief over oh, the product is too expensive remember it is a limiting belief and most importantly what is the limiting belief you have about yourself we will uh, in course of time we will carefully look at these limiting beliefs by itself the kind of internal self this thing maybe right from childhood we have been programmed these limiting beliefs are like you know they will just break they will just stop you from making or taking the next step so please identify the limiting beliefs and go beyond it that is why we are saying self awareness is the key start getting aware of what is making you be the way you are <clears throat> so next week we have more actionable steps coming up my question to you is are you willing to be unstoppable that is the question and that is the choice that i want you to make you can choose to be unstoppable in network marketing and we can make it happen thank you very much